Hey guys, it's Wendy from Wendy's Art. Welcome back to my channel. In this video, I'm going to show you how to paint a beetle using watercolor. This is another one of my commission painting. If you haven't watched the previous video, you can click the link on the right top of the screen. Now let's get straight into it. I started with a contour drawing and outlined it with light watercolor as you can see here. I mark out the glossy parts on the beetle when sketching because it's easier for me to put colors on afterwards. This way I know which parts I should put lighter colors and other parts I can add shadows. I start painting from the eyes which are very small in this painting so I just simply paint it with an orange tone for now. Later when we finish this piece we can check the whole painting's balance to see if we need to add some more details or not. Then I start painting the darker parts of the mandible. I mix up some navy blue with indigo color. I usually try to avoid using only one black color to paint even though the painting object is all in black. The reason why I do this is because painting with only one black color will make your work look dull and boring. Make sure to leave some blends in the mandible so it looks more 3D. For the body, I first put on a first layer using the same color as before but with more water to lower the saturation. I suggest to keep the first layer lighter so you can work on layers and add details afterwards. After the first layer is dry, I start to paint out the darkest parts on the body. Before painting the second layer, make sure your first layer is completely dry, otherwise the color will blend through each other. Because I already mark out the glossy part on the body when sketching, now I just have to follow those lines to put on the right colors. I like to start painting with the darkest parts, then gradually move to the brighter colors afterwards. I think this way, it's easier to catch the details. For the legs, as I did before for the mandible, I also leave some blends in between. Because the beetle has a very dark color, leaving blanks makes the painting look more realistic. When the legs are mostly done, I can see that there are some areas need to be darkened on the body. So I go back and strengthen those areas and add more details. Then continue painting the legs until finish. Lastly, I used a white watercolor pencil to brighten up the eyes and the junction between the upper body and lower body. I choose a white watercolor pencil instead of a white gel pen is because I think white gel pen is a bit too bright for this painting. So that's all for today's video. I really hope you've enjoyed it. If you do, please give it a thumbs up and make sure to subscribe to my channel and ring the bell so you won't miss out on my weekly art videos and tutorials. Thanks for watching. I'll see you next week. Bye.